slow motion, watch the rotation, head behind the ball, turns through it. Just a little too much lateral movement of the head. So let's go back to the setup position. We'll take a look at that. We'd like to try to get the head to stay at about inside that circle. And you can see that she's going to go back just a little ways and up. Drifts out of the circle a little too far. And she's going to drive back through the circle and actually beat the club head to the ball. The head is passing the ball early. Quite, quite a bit too early. So right now she's going to end up with her spine tilted forward instead of nice and straight up and down at this point. See that? we got a spine tilt on this angle here, and it really should be straight up, even a little bit tilted back like that. Okay? Let's go ahead and look at this swing in slow motion to start with. Nice turn. Nice turn. Nice straight ball flight. So, let's go back and take a, take a look at that from the setup. Let's go move into the setup position. That was a practice swing. Okay, let's take a look at the setup here. We've got a good setup going here. Steps into it nicely. Okay, let's go ahead and draw our, our lines in. There's our shaft plane. Here's our spine angle, turning nicely on the spine and staying nice, nicely put. The club is going just a little too far to the inside. That's because she's taking her left elbow out and around her rather than straight back. See how the left elbow is kind of pointing outward now? And the hands are a little too far under the club. Uh, opens the club face too far in the takeaway. We'll work on that next week. We'll just get that left arm going back. And then she ends up with the club pointing way too far to the right, uh, almost parallel to the spine line. Then we're going to drop down into the slot. She's dropping the club nicely there. Look at that. Let's see if we can get a little leg action. There goes the butt staying out nicely. Turn through the shot. Good turn through the shot right there. Club is staying outside the hands. Ball goes dead straight right down the middle of the target line. Good swing, kid. Let's go ahead and watch the swing in full full motion. A little waggle there to get loose. All right, let's break that down a little bit. Let's go back to the setup position. Okay, let's draw the important line in here. The uh, Swing plane. Okay. Let's see what happens there. A little bit below the swing plane. You can see he's, he's lifting up a little bit rather than staying down through the shot. A little lifting there. A little to the inside. Um, not terrible. Just a little bit. Some of that's the camera moving because it was a cold, windy morning. Good position there at the top. He's going to pivot down into the shot, drops the club nicely to the inside. Uh, arms a little far away from him on this point right there, so the club, while it's on plane, is actually above where he was before a little bit. Turns to it nicely there, but his hips are late. We'd like to have seen his hips rotate through first at this point, instead of quite not quite so late. So the club ends up going way to the inside of, him, of his body uh, too early, pulls across it, gets kind of a weak, weak shot off on that. Go ahead and watch this swing in slow motion. Smooth takeaway. Perfect spot there. Turns through it. Uh, that was a pretty nice swing. Uh, let's break it down into its parts. Let's see what's going on here. First thing we look at is a pretty good setup. Arms are straight down, hanging free at a nice 145 or so degree angle from the uh, arms to the club shaft. Spine's bent over to 1 o'clock, uh, feet are uh, nicely planted, right foot can be turned in a little bit, but the knees are nicely flexed, very athletic position, ready to go, straight back, uh, chin up. Let's watch the takeaway now. 
turning straight back, uh, taking maybe a little bit too much to the inside. Like right there, that's probably just a hair too far to the inside, but not bad. Uh, the club is uh, uh, toe up, even with the uh, forearms. That's pretty good. Getting to a great position here, really turning back nicely. Now the lead forearm comes up, and it's just slightly below the shoulders. Not too bad. It could be a little bit higher. But notice both elbows are straight down. The triangle is still intact. Let's see if she flattens that left wrist on the way down now. Now keeps a little cup in it. Still moving into the shot nicely. Getting good rotation there. Look how still the head is staying. It's not moving around at all. Beautiful turn. Coming through. Good release right there. The club stayed outside the hands. Still outside the hands. Just like a professional. Turns through to a nice high finish. But the only thing I'd say is, show me some more spikes. Uh, good swing. Let's go ahead and start by viewing this swing in slow motion. Right there you can see lifting going all already. Not a bad leg action though. So let's go ahead and take a look what happened here. Let's go back to the setup position. See right there, there's, he's falling back onto his back leg as he's coming through the head. What we want is the sense that the uh, backswing is a downloading swing, getting us ready to spring. So let's go ahead and draw the swing plane in first. See what goes on here. Okay, it's pretty, pretty nicely on the swing plane there. Staying on really nicely there. Now he's lifting way up. See how his, his body, his spine is straightened up. He's gotten way above the trees. Let's see if he starts down. He drops the club nicely into the into the slot, a little too far to the outside. But here he's going to have to fall backwards in order to get to the ball. You can see that the momentum is in the wrong direction. It's away from the target instead of to the target. Let's go ahead and take a look at this swing in slow motion. Not a bad looking swing. Let's Crank her back here to the setup position. See a pretty good setup, nice knee flex, straight back, back pointing up to one o'clock. Uh, the hands are probably a little too far out because we don't have any uh, angle here uh, from the arms to the club. It's almost a straight line. You'd like to see about 144 degrees of angle there, uh, something like that, you know. Just a little more angle. Uh, let's watch the takeaway now, nice and slow. Club is staying pretty low. Nice and low. Good good extension of the arms on the takeaway. Notice now that the club is dead closed. Uh, there should be a little rotation of the toe up uh, on the swing when it gets to this point right here. Take it on up. Still closed. Which means we're probably not going to get any wrist hinging going on. Now see how the, the arm is kind of bent funny and the left wrist is bent back too far. It drops. Notice the drop in of the club though. What, what a nice move. If we get all of our golfers to do that, they'll be coming nicely from the inside, make a good solid impact. Uh, it's a very good move there. Right on through. Now turn the hips solid into the shot. Pretty good. The problem was she, a little high right there. Um, that's a big mistake that cause, that is caused by the right hand being under the golf club right here, so the golf club is on its way up. If the right hand was more on top, uh, in line with the, the uh, lead uh, arm, we'd have a better impact position. Good solid swing. Here we see one of our junior golfers. Club's almost as long as he is. Let's watch this swing in full motion. Okay. Pretty solid, pretty good rhythm and tempo. But let's wind her back again, go back to that setup position, where we get kind of into that baseball move right there, where the hands come up a little too high. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to worry too much about uh, style at this point, but for our amateurs, our young amateurs, we want them to see, see them swing more in balance and uh, with a little more extension in the arms. So we'll just watch the club go back, looks really good coming back, pretty flat there. Uh, the club is too far to the inside. It's going to bisect his lower back instead of up over his shoulders. At this point, I'd like to see the club up here um, so that it's more on the target line. Now he's going to get it there. Almost gets it there. There it's there. 
A uh, little more shoulder turn would have been good. See, all he does is uses that flexibility of youth to get those elbows separated out. See how far apart they are? Got one elbow running this way, one elbow running that way. Can't have that. We've got to have both elbows down at the same distance apart they were at setup. And he's going to fire into the ball with all that strength and of youth. Look at that position right there. That's a pretty good position. Weight's transferring into the lead side. Rolls the club over pretty nicely. Turns into the shot. Pretty good swing, pretty good swing, very athletic. Here we see a pretty athletic setup. Let's go ahead and watch this swing in slow motion. Again, a little lifting of the hips, and a little bit chunky on the on the impact position. Let's go ahead and back back it up to the setup position, see if we can find out why that happened. Let's go ahead and draw some lines in. We'll draw that one and that one. Uh, that's his leg set up. See how much that moves. Let's go ahead and draw a, bl a blue line in for the swing plane. Let's see how everything stays put. Club's going too far to the inside on the way back. See, you're rotating the shoulders instead of just swinging the hands straight back. You're pulling the hands inside a little too much. The club at this point should still be pointing at your belly button. So you have moved the club a lot more than you've turned your your upper body. And that's we see that a lot with the amateur golfer. So we end up pulling up and out of the shot a little bit, ending up with the club shaft pointing way off uh, to the right side of my target uh, and kind of putting us in a difficult position to swing the club back down on plane. So we're going to see coming over the top move here. So you should way outside the line and you end up leaving the club face. You see how wide open the club face is coming into impact. Uh, the back of the left hand is pointing straight straight out to the right, and the right hand is underneath the golf club instead of on top or behind the golf club. And then he tries to catch it in the last second, but that's really tough timing right there to be able to do that. So we'd rather see him have having rotated his hand at this point to get that right hand on top of the swing, hitting down on the ball rather than scooping it up. Uh, swung to a pretty good finish, though.